Hi, welcome to Adobe Global Solutions, today I will be teaching you hardware and software. Hardware is a physical component of a computer system. Hardware can be categorized into two, we have internal and external hardware. Below are some examples of internal hardware. Motherboard is a printed circuit board found in all computers. It allows the processor and other computer hardware to function and communicate with each other. Random access memory, RAM is an internal chip where data is temporarily stored when running applications. It stores data currently running on a computer. Read-only memory, ROM is a memory used to store startup instructions in a computer. It stores BIOS, basic input-output system. Network interface card, NIC allows a computer or any other device to be connected to a network. Internal hard disk drive or solid state drive, HDD, or SSD, is one of the main methods for storing data, files, and most of the system and application software. Sound card is an integrated circuit board that provides a computer with the ability to produce sounds. Graphics card allows the computer to send graphical information to a video display device such as a monitor, television, or projector. The central processing unit CPU an electronic circuit board in a computer that can execute instructions from a computer program. Some examples of external hardware are a keyboard, mouse, printer, and monitor. Now let's look at software and its categories. Software is the program that controls the computer system and processes data. Software falls into two categories, applications and systems. Application software provides the services the user requires to solve a given task. For example, word processor is used to manipulate, create, edit, copy, paste text documents such as essays or reports. Spreadsheet, this software is used to manipulate the numerical data using formulas. It can do calculations and produce graphs. Database, it is used to organize, manipulate, and analyze data. It can carry out queries and produce a report. Control and measuring software, it measures physical quantities by using sensors and is used in control applications. Apps, it refers to the type of software that runs on mobile phones or tablets. Photo editing software allows a user to manipulate digital photographs stored on a computer. System software is designed to provide a platform on which all other software can run. For example, operating system, it manages many basic functions such as input-output operations, error handling, multitasking, batch processing, and security and user logins. Utilities, these are designed to carry out specific tasks on a computer, e.g. antivirus, file management, and disk defragmenter. Compiler, it is used to translate high-level language into machine code. Linkers, it is a computer program that takes one or more object files produced by a compiler and combines them into a single program that can be run on a computer. Device driver, this software enables one or more hardware devices to communicate with the computer's operating system. Let's discuss analog and digital data. Analog data is any data that is recorded and stored physically, whether it be through electrical or optical methods. It is continuous. Examples of analog devices include a microphone, camera, speaker, sensor, and so on. Digital data is a numeric code or binary code that is stored in computer systems and software. It is discrete. Computers use digital data to represent information. ADC, analog to digital converter, is used to convert analog data to digital data since the computer understands only digital data. Now that we have covered the essential concepts in this chapter, I will present a few past year questions related to the topic. Feel free to write down these questions and answer them accordingly. If needed, you can pause the video. If you have grasped the material well, you should be able to answer the following questions. Hope you have understood hardware and software, let's look at past questions. We also provide an online tuition in case you need one. Question 1. A computer consists of both hardware and software. Define the term hardware. Question 2. Give two examples of internal hardware devices. Question 3. There are two types of software, system and applications. Give two examples of application software. Question 4. 
Name three items of hardware that would be needed in order to hold a video conference. Question 5. There are a number of different internal hardware devices. Write down the most appropriate type of internal hardware that fits the following descriptions. A. A volatile device that is used to store data. B. This is the main printed circuit board found in computer systems. C. A non-volatile chip that stores the startup commands. D. This electronic device provides a computer with the ability to produce sounds. You can visit our website www.edubay.com to have access to our online courses.